Hi, I'm Sarah Drange. And I'm Michael Drange. We've been attending South Hills Burbank for seven years. When I moved to LA, I came out here to take a job as an assistant to a television producer. I took a part-time job nannying on the weekend. At the time, I was attending a church um, over on Wilshire, and they had talked about the importance of tithing, but I made five fifty a week before taxes. I learned so much from this family about the importance of God in the home and God in the world. And one of the things that they did while I worked for them was they donated a extremely large amount of money to a church that they didn't attend in Beverly Hills to keep this church up and running. And when I talked to the mother about it, she was just talking freely about it dinner one night. She was like, well, we're tithing. And it was like coming to me from all angles now because my church had been talking about it that I was attending at the time. There was a 90 day challenge at the church and I thought, all right, I'll try, I'll do my best. And so $55 a week, which was before taxes, I started giving to the church. And within the 90 day challenge, my salary doubled. And then with the babysitting job on the weekend, I was able to tithe more than double what I had started. It was very clear to me at that point in time that giving God the 10% that God had given to me back showed my faith and in turn was showing to me that I could trust that if I gave my money to God, I would be taken care of. Before, for me, I was single, selfish and self-centered and just ran around with a group of friends, you know, working on TV shows, movie, music videos, commercials, rock shows, and we just traveled a lot and I just did whatever I wanted. It became boring. It was all about me and I was miserable. So it wasn't until I started to, you know, seeking God and believing in God that I really wanted to make, you know, a change in my life. So we do also teach our kids to be generous with their time and with our home, with everything. And we do that as well. We try to be a service to others and uh, to live that type of life. It just, it's, it's something that makes us, my, me, myself, feel really good inside, is to be able to help other people that need it. My name is Hope. What's your name? Mikey. So this is the family, Mikey and Hope, and these are their jars. Each kid has three jars, and they say their names on them. So Mikey spend, Mikey save, and this mm -hmm. just says give, I couldn't Mikey, Mikey give. Yeah, Mikey give. And Hope has her own three as well. And so whenever they get birthday money or allowance, if they do their chores, they divide it up and they put 10% in the give jar and then... 50% in here and 40% in the safe. Very good, Mikey. And they take their give jars to church and put it in the envelopes. And we keep these jars in our kitchen. It was something that we actually heard here at South Hills. We both believe you have two choices. You can keep the money and live in fear, or you can send it out and trust God. And really at the end of the day, that's really what I want. I just want to, I want to have peace, I want to have usefulness, and I want happiness. You know, and I feel like I get all three of those things by tithing.